Heather Swain. I'm a sub-editor on the Evening Standard um, and uh, I write headlines and design pages. Headline writing is all about uh, drawing the reader into the, the story and attracting their attention. So first of all it's information and secondly they can be entertaining. If you're talking about a news headline for example, Five Dead in Bus Crash tells you everything that you need to know. Other times you want to make the reader wonder, you, you want to make the reader intrigued by what the story is about. We call it subbing, when we have the story that, that, that's been written by a reporter, it comes to us in a raw state. We have to look at it and, and correct it. Sometimes the headline um, is inspired by the picture photograph that you're using. In this case I was given the picture of uh, the new Burberry campaign. Um, I knew that um, the girl in the front was Agnes Dean. Um, I had no words at that point but I was told that it was going to go on to page three which is the, the first bright page that you see in the Evening Standard. So my mind went off straight away. How can I make that look good on a page? And when I came to think of the headline, I wanted something snappy and alliterative. It's a new campaign, it's a new year, and I, ca I came up with the Burberry Babes 2008. Headlines aren't hard, they're quite easy, they're quite slick, and sometimes very simple. Sometimes it's, it's word association, uh, sometimes it's, it's dragging on all the um, experiences you've had. Inspiration comes from everywhere uh, for headlines. Um, you go and see a film and the, the title of the film suggests a headline. Sometimes it it's just comes to you. You know, it's thought, it's a, it's a, it strikes you quickly and you have to work at speed so you get used to the words coming and, and, and all the associations coming to you quickly. The banner headline or the main headline of the paper, which is what people would see on the newsstands, we have to get the story across in four to six words. With this, I think it's very obvious, it's Maddie the movie, you know instantly who we're talking about, given that we're talking about a pool of information or shared information. Headlines have to be grammatical, so obviously you, you have to know your grammar. They have to be uh, understandable. They have to reflect the story. They have to have wit in many cases. I like headline writing particularly because it's very fast. Stories are different every day. It's it's fast flowing but I, I don't take work home. I've never had a briefcase. Knowing how to express yourself properly with jobs and with CVs, it's the only thing people see of you. If you have that skill and express yourself on paper, people will almost certainly want to know how you express yourself in person, want to see you. And if your words are an accurate reflection of who you are, then I think um, that's half the way to, to, um, to get, getting on in, in life.